Hi everyone, welcome to SW Gaming Channel. There are CK and Bloodseeker. I wanted to try new builds with 3 stars Warlock and Demon Heroes. At 3 stars, Warlock prevents friendly demons from silencing each other when casting abilities. An ogre cap, it's good for my strategy. Fight Spire is strange to me. I will fight with honor and poise. I should give ogre cap to CK, he would die before Witch Doctor and active Bloodbound Alliance. There he is, Warlock. I need to up him to 3 stars as fast as possible. My deeds will be inscribed in the Black Grimoire. We ride to victory. So much more for me to learn. If I can get another ogre cap, it would be great. Oh no, I think Gloves of Haste is the best choice now. Victory is all but sure. If I can't get 3 stars Warlock, I must go Bloodbound with Brute or Warlock, so I should sell Terrorblade, because I won't play Hunter this game.
Stonehall Cloak is the best tier 2 item for Bloodseeker. He always has a lot of kills and Stonehall Cloak helps him gain a lot of HP to survive in combat. I will stop up level at 5, because I want to roll to get 3 stars Warlock fast. Bloodbound is strong at early game and I don't worry to lose much HP while I mass roll at level 5. Because I go demon builds, so I must choose an Exus, her summoner, Demon Archer, has the Demon Alliance. Shadow Fiend is the best demon hero of this build. With Warlock Alliance, he can heal for the team after skill. One star Shadow Fiend is weak, so I should replace him with two stars Bloodseeker. I want Silver Edge for tier 3 item, it's good for both Chaos Knight and Shadow Fiend. Maelstrom is the best option in this case. I give Maelstrom to Arch because he always buffs for himself so he has good attack speed. We'll stand together. I think I can buy Necrophos if I want to change Bloodbound Warlock builds. Okay, I think I'm not lucky this turn, so I should sell Necro and focus to roll 3 stars Warlock.
do not legal fire. We are coming for ya! Please, Warlock, come to me. What a proper student of magic can do. I expected these to go differently. I'm confused between Ristal Circlet and Octarine Essence. I think I should have more demon units. I will use Ristal Circlet later after I got 3 stars Warlock. Leave it the fight you want. I lost many HP. I should up level now. Yes, I stopped losing HP. They will be candles of the plague I sow. Oh, the blood that shall be spilt. I think I won't have enough time to roll, so I wait to next round. Your hunt ends here. Yes, I got 3 stars Warlock. I can use Ristal Circlet on Orge, because his cooldown skill is 5s and he will get Force Demon buff. Butterfly is a good item for Shadow Fiend and Chaos Knight. After I got 3 stars Warlock, I must up my level fast. Wow, three stars, Bloodseeker. Today is my day. Why is Shadow being silenced? I guess when Warlock dead, his effect for demons will be gone. I must reposition Warlock to backline to make sure he's survived in combat, and move in towards to front, so he will die to active Bloodbound Alliance.
Cock, three stars Venomancer is strong. Okay, three stars Orange. That's what I need now. At three stars, Ogre Magi has a 75% chance per cast to multicast Bloodlust at two targets rather than one. I use Shadow Demon to sacrifice. Nice, another butterfly. There is a mage player, so I should buy Disruptor. I think I can handle Mage Player without Disruptor, so I sell them in focus to up level. Lord of the Alpha is good choice, the monster like a hero. I'm wrong, mage is strong. I should have disruptor.
Solo lo necesito. Okay, I won. Three stars more like what Demon builds is really good. If you have any questions, please comment and I will answer. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.